Imagine creating big budget shots in just minutes. No million dollar set, no Hollywood crew, just your ideas brought to life. Welcome to Idle Studios. In this series, we're gonna dive into the tools that we use to make our digital content. The first tool we're looking at is Google Flow, one of our go-to platforms for creating rich cinematic shots. We'll start today by showing you how to access Flow and walk through the interface cover the three different types of generations it supports, demonstrate how we build continuity between shots, and wrap up with a little scripting using JSON to lock in key details about a scene. And this is just the beginning. In our upcoming videos, we'll dive into other AI video tools and editing software so you can turn your own ideas into reality. To get into Flow, the easiest way is to just do a quick Google search for Google Flow. Click on the Google Labs link and you'll be dropped right into the landing page. From there, hit Create with Flow to get started. After creating an account and signing in, you'll land on the main workspace. This is the place where all of your future projects will be created and organized. Let's go ahead and click on New Project. That brings up the Prompt menu, where you'll see the three generation types, Text to Video, Frame to Video, and Ingredient to Video. Let's start with Text to Video. Click into the field and input a prompt. When I'm prompting, I generally use five things in my natural language prompt. Camera, subject, setting, mood, and exclusions. These five give structure to the scene, making sure the shot comes out focused, cinematic, and consistent. Click on the settings button to bring up the models. The next thing you want to check is which model you're using. Quality models are perfect when you've nailed the shot you want to generate. But if you're just testing different ideas, stick with the fast model to save credits while you experiment. Here is the shot in VO3 quality. And here is VO3 fast. VO2 quality. And finally, VO2 fast. Each of the models produces an impressive rendered output, which one you use depends on your goals for the shot. In an upcoming video, we'll compare prompt outputs from Halo and Flow and walk through which models we use for different types of shots. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated as we continue exploring the fast-growing world of AI and all the tools shaping its future. Next, let's look at frames to video. This option starts with still images like a concept art frame, a storyboard sketch, or even a rough render. Flow then animates that frame into motion keeping the composition and details much closer to what you upload. In our music video permanent checkout, we started with a still shot of MX tabs, rendered on a different AI platform, but then inside of Flow, we animated that frame into motion. We prompted him to raise his gun on his target and say, you're not my brother anymore. The result feels cinematic and keeps the same look and style of the original render while adding movement and performance. Hey, you're not my brother, mister. And lastly, we have ingredients to video. This is Flow's most powerful option because it lets you bring multiple elements together into one shot. You can feed in separate assets like a character, a background, and a prop, and Flow merges them into a seamless cinematic scene. The more detail you provide in your prompt, the more control you have over how each ingredient interacts. I am your lord. You will call me Bantams 28. To create the shot you just watched, we had to go through several steps. First, we started simple. A picture of bantams, a suit of armor, and a hull. Natural language prompts can work great for a single shot, but when you're building continuity across multiple shots, you can't afford to let the AI start making random changes. One scene with different lighting or a character suddenly styled differently can break the flow of your entire sequence. That's where scripting comes in. Scripts let you lock down the details so every shot stays consistent and you maintain control over the look and feel from beginning to end. Hear me now, if you want a consistent shot, you're gonna need to cheat. When we were building Bantam's declaration scene, we ran into this exact challenge. We wanted him to deliver multiple lines, but we also needed the camera angle, the mood, and the overall look and feel to stay consistent. If you just rely on natural prompts, the AI can start shifting things around, the lighting might change, 
or the character will shoot his gun, forget his line, and walk off of set. Anything can happen, and scripting can assist when tighter controls are needed. We'll go deeper into scripting in a future video. If you want to get started today, take your natural language prompt and paste it into ChatGPT and type in make a JSON script for this video prompt. I am your lord. You will call me Bantams 28. It has come to my attention that some of you have never used Flow. What's Flow? No, it, we're broke. <laughs> yeah, it's a little on the pricey side. And you know, that's okay. Because as of now, you all are prompt engineers. Is there going to be required training? No. Can we use ChatGPT to help us? Yes. Do we get paid more? No. Are we going to get paid less? Maybe. Thanks for tuning in to today for this overview of Flow and VO3. I hope this helped you get started with Flow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss our future videos as we continue exploring the world of AI content creation. Please let me know in the comments below if this video helps or if you would like to suggest something specific for us to cover. And if you'd like to see more of our completed projects, check out the playlist right here on the channel.